Hello there, my little darklings and snarklings. It's me, Vivian Wormwood, everybody's favorite gothic aunt. I'm here to talk today about my 10 ungoth confessions. It's going to be super cool. So let's get started. Number one, I am a huge fan of gardening. I don't raise a lot of uh, plants that are, you know, gothy and stuff like that. I try to get as much as I can. Um, when I do get them, I like to use, I like to use, um, black flowers like hollyhocks, which are nice. Um, they come in a really dark, deep purple color. Um, you can find them in seeds. Uh, that's where I've got mine and I'm starting to work on my seeds and stuff. Um, right now I have a black tomato which is called a purple Cherokee. It's actually just a really dark purple color. So um, that is very important to me. And I really like, you know, gardening. And you, I personally don't think that a lot of people think that's goth to, uh, you know, garden and frolic in the flowers and things like that, like I do. Uh, num number two on gothic confession is I'm not confident. That's why you see me always dressing up with a wig or something like that on my hair. It helps me feel more like I am myself. Um, makeup covers up pretty much everything. Um, it's something that I think is very important to me. Uh, the makeup and the, and the wig, of course. Number, uh, Ungoth Confession number three is the fact that I do not like to spend a lot of money on crazy brand names. I am super into like cheap brands and DIY. I don't really like Killstar or you know some of those brands. I, I think they're really fancy and really nice but they're just not for me. Um, plus I'm a little bit thick. I'm a thick girl so you know can't always fit into those sort of things. My ungoth confession number four, I think it's four now, is it four? I think it's four, um, is that I play music, but I play the flute. That's just something that I've come to terms with people making fun of me for it all the time, but I really enjoy playing music on the flute. Um, I've considered taking like uh, piano lessons and vocal lessons and things like that. And a lot of goths, you can see, they're they're very musically inclined and they can, you know, play a lot of music. Um, I can play music and it's really cool, but it's usually on the flute. Um, I've tried to play the guitar. Um, I have carpal in both of my hands because I am ambidextrous, um, but the hand that goes around the neck of the guitar just does not want to grip it. I need a smaller guitar and I'm considering buying one. Okay, ungoth confession number five is the fact that I absolutely love the color pink. I don't know why. I think a good hot pink works really well on stuff. I'm not that into pastels, not really. I think pastels are kind of not cool or and stuff like that I mean they're okay but I don't like pastels they're just too dull <laughs> I really like hot pink color um, and as you can tell I am a big fan of all sorts of colors uh, especially green because you know wormwood wormwood's green green fairy that's that's my jam <laughs> ungoth confession number six I um I don't get out to clubs very much uh, I do enjoy clubbing, but for some reason the crowds just kind of weird me out a little bit and it's not, you know, my favorite thing to do. Um, I do love to dance. I do a little spidery dance for you. A little dancing. Yeah. But, uh, um, that's, that's really, you know, I love to dance and I love to express myself through dance. I also do belly dance, which I have found a lot of goths do. Um, but that's kind of like in the background of the scene and stuff like that. And you'll find a lot of belly dancers in the goth uh, subculture because um, there's actually a type of belly dance called um, 
American tribal style, and a lot of that has to do with goth. But that's that's a completely other topic, and we'll get off on that at another time. Uh, my number seven ungoth confession is the fact that I bake when I'm bored. I don't know why, but I just really enjoy baking, and I think it's one of the most super fun things to do in the entire world. And what you get out of it is so amazing. Like right now, I made fudge brownies this morning. I know I need to lose weight, and I'm exercising to try to lose weight. Please don't nag me on that. But fudge brownies, come on, fudge brownies. It was really good. They're like amazing. Okay, number eight on Goth Confession is the fact that I absolutely 100% love tabletop RPGs. I even love LARPs, uh, live action role play. I haven't played in a lot of LARPs, but I have played in some Vampire the Masquerade, Vampire the Requiem. Uh, game is either Dungeon Dragons, Star Wars, Pathfinder. Pathfinder's super good. There are really a lot of them. Um, I actually am interested in one, and I will kind of hook it into uh, Ungoth number nine, but uh, I absolutely love furries, so that's my goth un uh, Ungoth confession number nine. Um, furries are amazing. I actually have my own fursona. My fursona is a bat, and the reason that my fursona is a bat, I actually have a legit good reason, is the fact that I have a disorder called misophonia. Misophonia involves sound, and um, it can mess with some of what you hear, um, and it triggers your fight or flight response, and it can be quite problematic. Um, if you would like some information on that, I can post it in the doobly-doo below, and um, I'll give you information on what it's like to live with misophonia. But that said, I love furries. I love furries so much. My, I have a ton of furry friends, and that's basically that on that one. Um, so let's move on to goth confession number 10, the absolute finale. Let's, uh... Okay, so my 10th on goth confession is the fact that I absolutely adore and love booty music. I don't care what kind of song it is. It can be country, it can be rap, it can be goth music, it can be, you know, it can be any kind of music, but it has to be about butts. I don't know why, but I absolutely love songs that are about butts because, I mean, you can just jam your booty to it. Um, most of the time, those songs are hip hop and rap songs, sometimes R&B. Um, let's see, uh, what is it? Snoop has a really good one. Um, that Wiggle song is really good. Um, and then there's one he sings with Jason Derulo. Um, I forget what, I th that may be the same song, but I cannot remember off the top of my head. But anyway, that's my top 10 ungoth confessions. I absolutely hope that you enjoyed my ungoth confessions. Um, I hope to be posting more videos soon. The weather is getting so much better and I'm able to wear my long sleeves out in um, outside and I prefer to be outside when I'm vlogging anyway. Um, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to do some videos on tarot cards and things like paganism and stuff like that because I've already done some on makeup and stuff. But my uh, spirituality and the things about my... Um, the way I do things around my house, like my daily devotions and things like that, I would really like to share those with you so that you can see what it's like in the life of a gothic pagan. Um, I probably will not show off my altar, I'll probably just talk about it, but um, I'll have things that for you to look at. Oh, and one more thing. Okay, and the last thing that I really wanted to talk about is this right here is my baby. Her name is Lenore. She's a lavender. Um, I This one's an annual, so that means it'll only grow for one year, um, like this year. I'm looking forward to getting some perennials. I'm hoping that there are perennial lavenders. I'm not the most knowledgeable on plants and stuff, but I plan on doing some gardening posts for you guys um, and talk about all sorts of plants like Lenore here. Um, she's still in her little bucket I got her from um, because the weather has been absolutely awful. Mother Nature has been too bipolar and she has kind of made frost 
every other week, basically, and I have been trying to take Lenore and the Empresses inside the house um, to make sure that they survive. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed my video and, you know, do your thing, love each other, be a rebel with a cause. Lots of love, your Aunt Viv.